Hi, this is Frank Carmody. So, uh, so you've done a lot of work on your Joomla site, and uh, now you know it backup is always good. So you're on a paid hosting, or you're on the sample hosting from Joomla, and you want to move it somewhere else. Well, how do you do that? Okay. Well, how you do that is you backup your site using Akiba Backup. Okay, Akiba backups the like the number one way to backup your site. Okay, so let's go ahead over. We're in the Joomla extensions directory. We're going to download Akiba backup. Now, I'm not sure what a key, what the company Akiba is, but Akiba has seems to have a good relationship with Joomla. So we're going to go down to this uh, Akiba backup. Just the top version is good. Take me to the downloads for this version. Uh, and they have a lot of great extensions. Uh, Akiba does so. Uh, download backup core. We're going to download that. Okay, we're going to save that file. Notice it's a component. Okay, we're going to go back into our administrator site and we're going to go to extensions, extension manager. And we're going to go browse and we're going to go com Akiba, right? And we're going to upload and install. Okay, so it's uploading it, it's installing it. Okay, uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and back up our actual site. So let's go to Components, go to Akiba Backup. Okay. Okay, so we have to actually click all these things. So notice that I understand that an untested backup is a good as no backup at all. So that means that they're encouraging you to have two systems of Joomla running. We're not going to do that right now. We're just going to get the backup. But basically what you want to do is you never want to have your, your old site go down before your new site is up. So this is a process like this Akiba. It's great to do backups all the time. That's great. The web services provider, the hosting provider, is going to be backing up your site anyway. So if something was to go wrong on their end, that's the great thing about hosted web services, about not having your own box that you're running off of. You have some, prof you know, that fee is some professional backing up your stuff, is making sure the web server is running. So in this case, uh, this is really a case where you're moving from one hosting service to another. So you want to have your old site running, your new site running. In the new site, you do Joomla 3 whatever you install Kiba backup there so you have a Kiba backup and Joomla running on two servers so this is that we're at our old server right now um, so accept mandatory information and apply preferences okay and a lot of stuff can go wrong because we're on shared hosting so um, so let's see how it does here Okay, so notice it's going through all of these tests to make sure that everything is going to work. And remember, our site is really small so far. So it's really, really, really small. So you are going to um, you're going to see that if we we're on some giant site with lots of files, this might you know take a long time, or it might freeze, or you might have other problems. We're on a very small site, so so we're going to go ahead. Um, we're going to just click backup now. Okay, default backup, and we're going to do a short description, and then we're going to say backup now. Okay, so notice that your backup is in progress. Okay, so what? as these things turn green, obviously it's backing up the database, backing up all the files, and then it's finalizing the backup progress. Okay, so now remember, it's 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 basically getting everything inside the Joomla system. So it's an all-in-one backup, basically. So what this results in is a file that has your all your database, all your files, everything in one place, which is which is really really useful. If you can imagine your alternative to backing this up, I mean the alternative is that you go in on a um, with a FTP or SFFTP 
and uh, you actually pull down all of your files over FTP, which can, which can take a while, and then you run backups um, using PHP my admin uh, to back up the SQL, a giant SQL query that would back up your databases. So uh, this Akiba backup saves a lot of time. Okay, so basically we had control panel, we backed up now, we, now we can go to manage backups. Okay, and what we can do is we can actually uh, download this. Okay, so here here is where it is. So we have we're on the manage backups, right? Okay, and we can actually click this download link. Okay, and that was mainly for large files. We're only downloading twelve point eight megabytes, so that's fine. Okay, so notice that. Uh, so now I have a completely downloaded backup this dot jpa file is the backup okay and we could come in and we could actually go in this manage backups as well we can go into uh, okay so we can actually go back to uh, control panel okay all right, so you can also go in and um, and kind of test out these things, um, and uh, you know, kind of play around with this Akiba backup. Okay, so um, so we have our we have our Akiba backup here. So we have our file now. If we want to move to our new server, and we're not going to cover this right now, we are only covering the backup portion. You go back to Akiba, and on your new server, basically, you'd FTP in. You'd, uh, you'd install this Akiba Kickstart. Okay, so we're on this Akiba backup site. You'd ins install Akiba Kickstart, and then you would use go through this Kickstart process. Basically, it's just a set of files you upload. You go to a, a, a PHP page on your new server once you know your the files are uploaded onto the server. And this Kickstart is a is a what you you know is just a, a web interface for you to upload, and it extracts everything and installs it on your new server. Uh, okay, so that's it. So now we have a way to back up our website and move it to our new server. Good luck. Go ahead and make your backup.